On this RV decor video, I'm going to show you how I made this from Dollar Tree items. Oh, isn't that cute? Since I've been making this series, I wanted to find items that you can make inexpensively for your RV that would be RV friendly because we talked about RV decor a few weeks ago and I will link that video if you want to go back and kind of see the guidelines for RV decor. The great thing about these items, you can put them in your house or in the RV but they're super RV friendly. You almost add no weight and it's cute. This here is made with all Dollar Tree items. My daughter-in-law sent me a TikTok video that showed making this. I've gone down that big rabbit hole that we talked about last week. This is all Dollar Tree items. Super lightweight if it wasn't for the candle. The candle's the heaviest part of the whole thing. It only cost me four dollars to make. Let me show you how I made this. You're going to need to run to Dollar Tree two pack of the Racing Hot Wheels track. You're going to want to try and find the little pearls and you need one pack of those. And then you need some kind of square sign. It just needs to be square and it needs to have a lip. And they typically always have them. They just may have all kinds of different ones. The one I got happened to be Easter. Once you have your items from Dollar Tree, you're gonna take the pearls and you're gonna lay out your two tracks. The tracks were 24 inches long. 12 inches was the center. I did not put a pearl on the 12 inches, but I went two inches from that all the way to the end and left room for where, where it goes into the box. The half pearls that are cut in half do have sticky on the back, but they do not stick very well. So I would recommend just a dot of hot glue on them to secure them better. After I did that, you glued it into the box. I learned that it was easier to glue one side, hold it until it was set, and then glue the other side. I ended up gluing the middle because it was kind of moving around and I wanted it to stay. If I did this again, I would not glue that until after you painted because I learned you couldn't get up in there and the glue, you could still see the orange. I spray painted mine first and I just could not get the orange look out and then I painted it after with some chalk paint. When I did it again, I would lightly do a couple of coats of the white spray paint, and then I would paint it with chalk paint afterwards so that you can get all the grooves and the places that the spray paint doesn't get in. Because if you start trying to get the spray paint in those sections, it's gonna start running and I had that problem. Once you get it all painted, you're gonna let it dry. I got antique photo rub and paint and you just hit all the high areas. Now, I did have on my knob, the girl did a big one. I was gonna try to do some Dollar Tree items and put some stuff together and it just would not stick or hold. Then I ended up finding an old wooden knob that I had in on hand that ended up sticking and working perfect. So that's the only thing that didn't come from Dollar Tree, but I had that on hand. Then you just decorate it. I put a candle in here, but you do not want to light a candle. This is plastic, so it will melt. <laughs> and we don't put candles in our RV anyway, but you could get like one of the battery operated candles and they sell those at the Dollar Tree. So you could put that in there. I just put a little greenery that I had that I had gotten at the Dollar Tree think this is super cute. I love how it turned out. Now I'm going to give you a little bonus item. These I did not love as much as I thought I was going to. And I think that if I got four of them, it would have been better. I did get some little, these are dice and these, they didn't have like the regular dice. They had the ones that have like little dry erase dots on them. I painted them first. And then I realized that those little dots needed to come off because you could see them and they just didn't look good. I took my blow drying trick that I showed y'all and I pulled off all the dots. 
and then I finished hand painting those. I originally spray painted them. I didn't, it was cold outside after I got those off, so I just hand painted them and it worked fine. And then I ended up, to start with, I took some brown, like I did on the other one, the rub in brown, and put that on there. But then I put these rub on transfers that you can get at the Dollar Tree. And they were black and it was brown and I did not like the two together so I ended up taking taking a chip brush and some black and just dry brushing them around them but they're super light if you got four of them you could put the one word home on it or you just two um I don't think they work together you need three or four and you could take these any kind of word on it and then just glue them together and then they could sit out or even if you put like letters on them and stack them up, I think it would be really cute. I am going to buy a couple of extra of these and I'm going to make a little tower with them. Super cute and super lightweight is what you need in the RV. Please let me know in the description box if you want more videos like this because I have a long list of items that you can make for your RV that is super lightweight, that is Dollar Tree, and it's super cheap. Till next time, like and subscribe.